I'll never understand how college and NFL football teams allow kickers that just miss kicks. I feel like there has got to be a pool of kickers in the USA that won't miss simple kicks or snappers that won't mess the snaps. I don't know, it seems so silly. Would love opinions on this. Well, you know what, Mr. Ninja? Mr. Bubbles has an opinion of his own, but it's not an opinion based on anything other than factual research, because today, thanks to Madden Science, we're gonna give NFL teams the opportunity to draft a kicker that would never miss a kick. A 99 overall kicker, a perfect kicker across the board. If they were presented a chance to draft an NFL kicker that would never miss a kick, a 99 rated Madden 21 terms, how high would they draft them? Would they pick that kicker with the first overall selection? Today, thanks to Madden 21 scientific research, we find out the answer to that question. Eat corn and get RBT to 1 million subscribers by Christmas. Eat your corn. Love your corn. But you need to get RBT to 1 million subscribers by Christmas. So hopefully guys do enjoy today's Madden 21 scientific video. And if you do, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. Also guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Because if and only if we do hit a million subscribers by the end of the year, do a massive next-gen console giveaway to my subscribers and subscribers only. Three next-gen consoles of your choice being given away to my subs, but that's if and only if we do hit that milli mark by the end of the year, so make sure to take that millisecond that does take to click that subscription button. If you haven't, let's zoom in on Mr. Bubbles' face, because that means science is about to commence. Now, how is today's video going to work? We're doing two separate experiments, kind of the same, but a little different variable on each end. First experiment in a franchise mode. Simply, we have two prospects that we have edited we have two, a kicker and a punter. Because at the same time, I want to test out punters and kickers. So, like, see if there's any difference in how high they will be drafted. Both 99 across the board. These same exact ratings. They're just a kicker and one's a punter. If we go to available kicker and punters, here as you see, kicker Justin Tucker. If we go ahead, though, and scout him, as you see, he's projected to go undrafted. There's only five kickers out there. If we go ahead and scout Justin Tucker, it's crazy. It's A pluses across the board. But he's still projected to be undrafted, which is funky. And why the heck is the D an undrafted below the word? So uh, he's going to be undrafted. Day. As you see, his talent is an early first rounder. So although on the draft board it has him as an undrafted talent, once you scout him, it does say he's an early first rounder. Now also you go into the punter position, Mr. Pat McAfee. Out of West Virginia, once again, he's projected to be undrafted undrafted but if you use all your scouting points once again a pluses across the board as he is projected after you scout him as an early first round talent now as mentioned if we go in and edit the players because that's what i had to do to make this possible if you go into the draft class as you see sort by overall you have justin tucker and pat mcafee projected to be an undrafted pick but as you see they have 99 rating for every single statistical category so literally you could draft him and he could be a 99 rated quarterback if you want to convert his position. But is the CPU smart enough to know that they can draft this player and they can be the greatest player in the history of the NFL because they could be a 99 rated, a perfect player at every single position? Or just because they're listed at kicker and punter and it has their projected round and pick as undrafted, are they just not even going to draft them? Now, on the flip side, the same exact players, Justin Tucker and Pat McAfee, the same exact ratings across the board. The only difference in those two players is the fact that if we go out of the draft class, the only difference is the fact that they're the projected number one and two picks. So is there going to be any difference from the first simulation and the second draft class simulation? Because they're the same rating, but the projection for the second experiment is projected number one and two pick, even though they're listed at kicker and punter. In this first experiment, where they're projected to be undrafted free agents, but at the same time, if a team out there scouts them, they're freaking the, like the best player in the world. But I think they'll be drafted probably third or fourth round. I could be completely wrong. They could go number one. That's what today's experiment's about, to see how high a kicker and punter, if they're the perfect player, can be drafted in a Madden 21 franchise. One projected as undrafted free agent, the other as the number one overall pick. With that said, let's get into draft numero uno and see what the heck happens. I'm not going to pick myself. I'm the Vikings in this franchise because I, like, if I simmed it because I specifically, like, scouted those players, I don't want them to have any, like, mess up with the franchise, with the draft, 
So they picked a 74 rated outside linebacker. Wow, so they didn't go number one or number two. I mean, I understandably so because they're, they're not projected to be number one or two in this franchise. They're projected to be undrafted free agents. So I'll go ahead and make my pick. I'll just pick Chuck Morrison off the top of the board. It's really weird because I did auto-generated rookies, like fake people in both franchises, and it gave me the same exact auto-generated draft class. Like, I don't think that should be a thing. I don't think there should be the same draft class twice because that's the case. You know, with every single franchise that you do, if you do auto generated rookies, Chuck Morrison is going to be a 74 rated. I'm just so interested though. So we're going to go ahead and just sim pick per pick. We have Chad Carmichael going 73 rated free safety. Next pick, Damian Goodson out of Ohio. If they don't get picked in the first round, we're going to go ahead and just sim to the end of the draft and check that way. So a running back goes five overall. Joe Macklin goes number six. You have Kyle Russell, a 74 rated, go to the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't think they're going to get drafted in the first round. Possibly in the second one when they're projected to be number one and number two pick because CPUs do pick a lot by like what they're projected. Even though they could be a complete dead pick, they're kickers and punters. So I, I don't know. I'm just that I, I don't even really know what's going to happen. I have no idea. That's why we do these experiments. For all I know, they could go and draft in both of them, even though they're 99 ratings. Vince Pleasance, what a name. He goes with the 11th pick. Still no sign of the kicker or punter. I don't even realize or I don't even remember if I've seen a kicker or punter ever be drafted in any of my franchises. I don't think I've ever even like paid attention. So maybe they get drafted normally, even if they're like 75, 76 rated, 70 rated, maybe late in the draft. I don't know. I've never even paid attention. John Sanchez, that's a good pick with the 16th pick, but still no sign of the kicker or punter. 70 rated defensive tackle. Come on, team. Do you have a 99 rated kicker and punter on the board? They'll never miss a kick for you. They're always down the point in the 20. They can put the ball 99 yards. Another running back went. You're, you're picking Juan Sermon, a 68 rated cornerback from Maryland before the 99 rated kicker and punter. Okay, so a 63 rated left tackle goes in the first round, but nope, not a 99 rated kicker or punter. Another 70 rated? I, I just don't think they're going to go in the first round. Rashawn Winter, another 66 stinky rated player they could literally be converted anywhere from quarterback to middle linebacker to offensive line and they'd stay at 99 yet just because they're listed as a kicker or a punter they are not selected in the first round so with that said we're gonna go ahead and simulate to the end of the draft and see from the draft recap and see if they even got drafted looks like they did not go in the second round Round numero three, we have a quarterback go, another quarterback, still no kicker or punter. Round number four, looks like still no, what if they, what if they seriously go and draft it? That's going to be so stinky. That's going to be so goddamn stinky. No kicker or punter in the fifth round, sixth round, looks like there is once again no kicker or punter. A fullback gets selected, Landon Chambers in the sixth round before the kicker or punter. Round seven, it looks like neither of them got drafted. Are you serious? Did I miss anything? If that's the case, if we go ahead and simulate to preseason week number one, they're going to be free agents still. There should be two 99 rated players. They're not? Oh, did they die? How did he end up on the Jets? I'm so confused. He's on the Cardinals. Did I miss it? Or did they get an opportunity to sign the undrafted free agents before I did? Oh, I forgot to mention as well. That's important. They are superstar X Factors too. How did they get the chance to sign them before I did? So it looks like Justin Tucker did go undrafted. They signed a 99 rated kicker that they could easily convert to quarterback to a 990k deal. Didn't even get a million dollars on a one year contract. Could play left tackle, could play right guard, could play quarterback, but they, they, they oh that's funny. That's actually kind of funny, but they, 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 like he's better than the actual Justin Tucker, but makes three times less what than the actual Justin Tucker does. How about the punter position? How much they give him? 780k, they're doing Pat McAfee dirty. Once again, superstar X Factor, 99 rated, and I'm pretty sure once again, I think, goes undrafted. So I am interested to see if in the second simulation when they're actually projected to be number one and number two pick, if that has any difference or if they just both get undrafted. Start drafting, moment of truth. So once again, we pause the draft, we look at my draft board and it's gonna be the same for every single NFL team. The number one projected player, number two projected player is a kicker 
and punter. I've never seen a combine grade be a 10.1, which I'm guessing, I wonder even if the undrafted players go to the combine. As you see, they ran a 4-2-5-40 yard dash with 46 reps on the pinch press. Jesus Christ. Are they going to go number one and number two overall? Advance to next pick, and it's going to be Justin Tucker. It worked. It actually worked. So as you guys see, it actually has a big freaking amount of importance what their projection is. So that's actually so funky. Like just because they're undrafted, the same overall, but just because they're projected to be undrafted, they don't get drafted at all. That's so funky. I love science, but is the punter going to go number two? And oh, he doesn't. Okay, okay, okay. So we've seen so far it is possible for the kicker to be drafted number one overall. But where is the love for the punter? I'm I'm expecting him to get drafted somewhere. Like they're, once again, they're the same exact rating. Just one's a kicker, one's a punter, and he still hasn't been drafted. Come on now, like punters, they matter too. EA Sports. Only two more selections in. No punter. They get Kerry Gregory from Nevada. So with that said, my dudes, we're gonna go ahead and simulate to the end of the draft and see if we need to talk to EA about punters mattering because like this is sad poor Patrick wow so Justin Tucker got a 12 million dollar salary so even though he's a kicker they signed him to a four-year 48 million dollar deal the Jets must have loved him but so far there's no love for the punter. I already looked at the second and third rounds, and I didn't see him anywhere. Sixth round selection. Come on, don't do him that dirty. Come on now. A fullback got selected, so his last chance. If he's not selected in the seventh round, it is literally impossible in Madden 21 for a punter to be selected, and it looks like that is the case. A 99 rated punter does not get selected, but a kicker with the same exact ratings does get selected. So how funky is that? So what team had the privilege of signing 99 rated Patrick McAfee? And that's going to go to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Huh? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm so confused. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a god dang second. There's just, that's, I, I, there, there's no way. Hold on. I'm ending my recording and going back to watch the footage because I swear to God, he did not go number two. He just didn't. Like, that's a lie. Like, that's a god dang lie. So I'm going back to watch the footage now. So, like, are we going to find out collectively that we end off today's video that EA Sports is a freaking liar? The Steelers didn't even have the number two pick. What does that even mean? The Jacksonville Jaguars clearly had the number two pick. Dog. Literally, John Sanchez from Arkansas went number two. Hold on. Hold on a goddamn second. I, I, are my eyes deceiving me? This has got to be... Literally, this is why we do these experiments to, just to see funkiness. I've never seen anything like this. So, like, one final time. Like, did I... Once again, did I misread that? Did, like, we go back to awards? He, that's a lie!